to be honest, I didn't want to speak about this before the games because I thought it was uh, just unnecessary, but I actually started to experience um, bad anxiety attacks, like waking up and just getting very overwhelmed and not wanting to leave the house. And I was like, right, the only thing that was getting me up was because I had to go training. And if I didn't go training, I wasn't going to qualify for Paris. And then I would have just, it, it kind of started spiraling like that. So um, literally the only thing I'd do was wake up and go training. That routine in Ireland wasn't good for the head. So um, there's a team that I trained with over in Spain which was great for me just to get away from everything, get away from uh, just anything that was connected to all the trauma. Um, just going over to Spain, being around my friends over there and just new pe different people. I was able to bring in my partner as well to kind of make things feel a little bit at home. Was With there... that trauma of being around Dublin city centre, is mm. there a fear there? So-so. Uh, it depends. Certain If I'm alone, yeah. Like um, walking here today, so I walked from Smithfield uh, into the main city centre and it was a bit like I had to walk past where it happened. And it was like kind of a, a moment where I looked at it and kind of reflected on where I am today and kind of being proud of that and being happy rather than seeing it and panicking. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think if that happened six months ago, mm. I'd have just put my head down and gone. Like, and I don't know how I would have reacted.